thought transmission is real. Step by step, how to use thought transmission to manifest anything you desire fast. Hi everyone, Robert Zink, your miracle mentor and alchemy success coach. And today we are soaring high like a big, beautiful eagle. We're always flying in the direction of your dreams and goals. So you've heard about thought transmission and telepathy and mind reading and all of that. And you're kind of skeptical. I know I can feel it. You're kind of skeptical, but guess what? It really works. And we're actually doing it all the time. So writer, attorney, metaphysician, William Watker Atkinson says the following thought is a force, a manifestation of energy, having a magnet like power of attraction. Your thoughts do not exist just between you and your ears. Your thoughts are broadcast and they are transmitted to the people around you, to your environment, and even to people across the world. It makes no difference. There is no time or space when it comes to thought transmission. So if you are affecting your reality and you're affecting your life and you're affecting other people's thoughts about you with the thoughts that you think, doesn't it make sense to learn how to control your thoughts and direct them in a positive manner? Put simply, thought transmission is a 24-7 thing. It's, a, it's something we just do. It's what we are. Look, at you can tell me where your brain is, but you can't tell me where your mind is. Your mind is everywhere. Everywhere that you can imagine, your mind is there. Your mind has no limits and your mind has no boundaries. So the interesting thing about this, High Flyers, is you are affecting reality with your thoughts. Look at if you're not manifesting what you desire, doesn't it make sense to learn this step-by-step -step technique and begin using it immediately because it works and it works fast. As a manifester, you need to know that your thoughts have the power to influence your reality, to change your reality, and to change the way other people think about you and react to you including a specific person or love interest. Your thoughts are always creating. Your thoughts are always manifesting. So let's get into the step-by-step -step how to, okay? The first step is belief and visualization. Imagination is the first step in creation. The mental pattern must always precede the material form. William Walker Atkinson. I mean, that's pretty basic. The mental pattern that you create with your thoughts must precede whatever you manifest. So the first step is belief in visualization. And it's important that you take a moment and really solidify, really meditate for a moment and solidify your beliefs that you were born with this power. You have this power and now you're going to use this power consciously rather than allow it to use you. So a simple exercise is to visualize a friend or a family member and send them a thought, send them an idea, make it benign, something not too important. This is just to exercise your belief that belief in visualization power that you have. Visualize your thoughts entering the back of the head of a friend or family member and send a, you know, send a positive thought, okay? Something benign, but something positive. 
and then wait about 24 hours and then check. Check and see if they've done something or if they've taken an action or something that would prove out to you that you have just sent a thought transmission. This helps you focus on building a strong belief system. So once I had a friend and I, he was taking a nap and I focused on him sneezing as he came down the stairs. So he came down the stairs. He woke up from his nap. I know he was getting ready to go to work and he started sneezing. And so he went into the kitchen to make himself uh, some, some lunch and he was still sneezing. And so I shut my eyes and began visualizing my thought reaching the back of his head that said, you're not sneezing. You have no urge to sneeze. And with a moment, he stopped sneezing and he didn't sneeze the rest of the day. And so I asked him when he got home around one or two in the morning, I said, Hey, did you sneeze the rest of the day? And he said, no, I just had that sneezing fit for a few minutes in the morning or in the afternoon. And it was quite amazing because what it did, that one experience solidified my ability and my belief in my ability to send thought transmissions. Well, number two is develop focused attention. Always remember your focus determines your reality. William Watker Atkinson. So one of the easiest ways to develop focused attention is to take a candle, sit in a dark room, light the candle, and then stare at it with one eye as long as you can until everything kind of goes black and then do it with this eye until everything goes black. What you want to do high flyers is practice concentrating on that candle flame and visualize it dancing, make it move, make, make it get taller and smaller, taller and smaller. Start with one eye, then the other. Now there was a great baseball player by the name of shoeless Joe Jackson, who used to practice this exercise and he did it so that he could see the baseball much easier when it was coming, when he was hitting and it worked for him. He was a great ball player. Anyway, do this every night for about seven nights and your focused attention will be much more powerful when you send a thought transmission. The third step is clear intention. If you are not satisfied with what is coming to you, Start to work and change your mental attitude and mental status, and you will see change gradually setting in. Clear intention. Change your mental attitude. That's the beginning. Write down a short message, just a, a happy message of laughter, maybe something kind of funny. Maybe you've seen something on Instagram. Uh, or one of the other social media things that was kind of funny and write it out and then read it and send it to someone. Send it. Now they may not get all the details, but they may get the laughter. They may, and call them up later on after you've sent it. Say, Hey, how are things going today? I don't know. I've been in a great mood. I've been laughing all day. You know that you have sent them a clear intent. And so this is developing those skills. So later on, when you want to use it for something important, you have the power. It's important that you focus on clarity and precision in your mental formulation of the message that you send. Well, step number four is emotional charge. And I can't think of a better quote than Neville Goddard. Feeling is the secret. So what you want to do is you want to uh, recall a past emotional experience that it, uh, it evoked a strong emotion, uh, something that really made you feel something intense, such as joy or gratitude or even love. 
Now, spend a few moments just reliving that experience in your mind. Do it over and over. Maybe do it two or three times. Just relive the experience in your mind. Maybe three times at the most. That should be enough. Now, practice sending those emotions to someone that you care about. Send them positive emotions, joy, love, happiness, you know, feeling of confidence and practice sending them. I know that it's important. It's important for you to develop your emotional charge. So think of a positive emotion, something that just made you feel absolutely wonderful and send that emotion to someone using the power of your mind. See it come into the back of their head and then fill up their body. And you might even see them feeling happy or joyful or loving. Well, number five is what we call mental projection. So sit in a quiet place, visualize a line going from your mind to theirs. And you're going to project you can do the emotional charge. You can send the projection of emotions down that line. See, it's important to have a clear pathway in your mind and you can send the emotional charge or you can send a picture or you can send a letter down that pathway. It's almost like a telegraph wire into their subconscious mind, which eventually will bubble up into their conscious mind and their attitude and energy will begin to shift and change. Well, the next step, step six is feedback and validation. And this is very important because without feedback, you don't build confidence. You don't build a sense of certainty that what you're doing works. So high flyers, after attempting thought transmission a few times, sending a story, sending emotions, sending pictures, sending ideas, then you're going to want to get some kind of validation. Sometimes you can look on their social media and see things have changed in their life. Sometimes you can give them a phone call. Sometimes you can just check in, Hey, how are things going? And they'll start telling you. So it's absolutely important that you, you get some feedback and validation because the stronger your confidence level, the more effective you will be. Now, we always respect the free will and autonomy of others. So let's say I want to send a love uh, transmission to someone. And maybe we broke up. Maybe at one time we loved each other, but we broke up. So I might send a transmission like this. It wouldn't be that you love me and can't live without me, though. That would work. I would probably send it in this way. Remember back to those feelings you had for me when we first met. Those feelings now fill your mind. They now fill your heart. They now become the predominant thought that you think. And I would see those feelings. I would emotionalize those positive experiences. I would send them down the transmission line. I would visualize the person receiving the transmission and I'm certain they will. This is a powerful technique can be used for a lot of things. Doesn't have to be used with other people can be used. It can be used high flyers on your situation as well. Okay, there you go. Start using it, start practicing it. I've given it to you step by step. And it absolutely works. Now, I know that a number of you are looking to manifest something big in your life. And I can't think of any technique more powerful than shamanic tapping and release. I recorded a video of shamanic tapping and release that if you will do it, you'll start attracting miracles within 24 hours. And you're going to be shocked. And I want to share in your joy. So it's the video that's coming up next.